there's some things you just wouldn't want to bring home from the office, like a photocopier or a P45. But what about an AMD Fire Pro W4100? The W4100 is a workstation card released in 2014 and is based on the GCN1 Cape Verde, 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 Verde processor. The W4100 has 512 shader cores, 32 TMUs, 16 ROPs, and 2 GB of GDDR5 memory on a 128-bit bus. The core is clocked at a very low 630 MHz and the memory is operating at 1000 MHz. Thankfully, you can overclock, but not by very much. I've set this card to run at 715 MHz on the core and 1100 MHz on the memory, which is as far as the sliders let you go. It ran a little hot, so I've manually adjusted the fan control to 100%. After playing Fortnite at 1080p, I can say that this is not a 1080p GPU, so we'll stick with 720p. The W4100 has superior specs to the R7430 we've looked at previously, with 128 more shaders, 8 more TMUs and twice the ROPs. Can these overcome the lower clock speeds and allow the W4100 to beat the R7430? Let the benchmark battle commence! Round one, fight! R7430 wins. R7430 wins. R7430 wins.
Did those superior hardware specs allow the Fire Pro W4100 to beat the R7430? Sadly not. On average, the R7430 was 17% faster than the W4100. The W4100 was able to outperform the R7430 in PUBG, and roughly equal performance in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But in Fortnite, Rocket League and Warframe, it suffered from far worse 0.1% lows. It also appeared to underperform in Fortnite and Counter-Strike 2. And these issues, I suspect, are down to a lack of optimization in the Radeon Pro drivers. With the card overclocked to the max, at least in Afterburner, we're really getting all the W4100 can give. Unless you fancy messing with a BIOS. As with many of these type of low profile cards, the cooler really isn't up to much and you'll need to whack up the fans to cope with the heat generated by this card, which makes it sound like a light aircraft taking off. While slower than the R7430, the W4100 isn't necessarily a bad card, but the low clock speed and possible driver issues make it hard to recommend unless you can find it for significantly less than the R7430. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed as I thought the W4100 might turn out to be a better bang for buck than the AMD Olin cards due to its superior hardware specs. But no, its clock speed deficit really holds it back and this card really is all work and no play. Well, that's all for now, so I'll catch you next time, Rammers.